Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a, a question or actually an email with, with a few questions here. I thought I'd answer them via video because I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, this email comes from Jacek and, and he basically says, you know, he's been interested in video game design and digital character art and uh, and he's basically hit this point where he'd like to become both an expert in game programming and digital art and he wants to know first of all is it possible to like do both of those things or should you just focus on one good good, good question uh, and then he also wants to know and he's been trying to learn uh trying to develop a learning plan for for developing 3d assets like in unity and he sees he's gotten some books and resources and stuff and, and done some training, but he sees these sort of really advanced things that are in the Unity, Unity assets. So when he can't find anyone that's teaching these things, like how, how does he find them and where, where should he go uh, for, for, for that? And then, and then finally, he, he talks about this idea of like, uh, if, you, if you've seen my 10 steps to learn anything quickly course, in that course I show you how I learn like how to do pixel art in about two weeks. In time, and you know, I'm, I don't become the greatest pixel artist, <laughs> but I learned how to do it, and and it's you know, I was just kind of proving the point that you can learn anything quickly if you apply that process. But he basically says, well, what would you do if you wanted to go beyond that? Because I said in that course, in fact, he says, uh, you know, that it, that basically I said that I couldn't make a living <laughs> as a pixel artist after at least after two weeks of training, but. He says, you know, have you come up with any ideas of what would be your next step if you'd like to create professional pixel art? Maybe you know someone who has some advices on the topic. So I, I thought this, these things kind of tie in together with, with an overarching thing of like, where do you go when you hit a certain point of expertise and you want to go beyond and go further, you know, beyond the basics? I think a lot of people get stuck here. And so, so the first thing, you know, that I would address here is this idea of should you become an expert in both things or just one thing? You, I, I, I think that, you know, as far as like the game programming and digital art, it makes a lot of sense to go down one path, to, to make the focus as narrow as possible, at least to start out, because you can go deeper with that and, and develop those expertise. But there's sort of this concentric circles and then there's also like parallel types of audiences. Like if, if, you, if you go deep and you become an expert in one thing, then you can sort of branch out. And you know, I'm not following my own advice. So I sort of am, right? Because like with Simple Programmer, right, I, I sort of built up a reputation in the developer industry on technical topics. Now, I didn't focus like on one specific thing, you know, my, that I'd give myself that advice today and, and it still worked out for me but then I branched out right and and you can branch out once you have that it, and again it was probably more of a struggle for me I think that that someone could probably get to where I'm able where I'm at right now easier and faster by following the advice I'd give you now which is basically like go really really deep with a specialty become an expert in a thing and then branch out from there. So, you know, pick the one, pick game programming or digital art and and then be, and become an expert in that. In fact, in fact, specialize even further in that. Don't just become an expert in game programming or just in digital art. I've got a whole series on of video courses or videos on specialization. Definitely check those out because, you know, it's really important, but you got to niche down to a small enough niche in order to to really become an expert. So so that's the first thing that I'd say. And, and then, so then it becomes, you know, this whole idea of, okay, so let's say you're gonna pick one of these things and you're gonna specialize and you're gonna go deep. How do you go beyond that basic, you know, like for example, in, the, in this case, he mentioned, you know, I've got these Unity programming tutorials and creating assets, but how do I go to the next level? How do I get deeper? into that and and the answer there is really at this point you need mentorship you got to find someone who's doing what you want to do and one thing that tony robbins always says is is like in order to get to where someone's at or to you, you find someone who's already successfully doing what you're what what you want to do and then you copy them and and it's it, it's very true so you could go into the asset store and you could find these people that are developing these complex assets and you could you could watch them first of all like see go to their website see what they're doing and then possibly 
you ask some questions and then possibly pay them right to coach you right getting a coach in this case is is, is valuable uh, I, I've I've hired coaches I do some coaching I'll put a link here uh, I I have to warn you though if you're interested in coaching like I I really don't take on very many people and I've got some requirements you can check out the link but uh, but but yeah the, I do offer that. Sometimes, because it can help you get stuck, right? It, it can help you get past being stuck. And, and sometimes it can help you get stuck. <laughs> Take you to the next level where you get stuck and you need the next level up. But I think that's where you have to go at that point because you're not going to find super advanced stuff a lot of times because th that kind of stuff is really custom tailored and it doesn't sell as well, right? It, the beginner stuff, the basic stuff, and this is something just to know, like if you're selling stuff online, is... You usually don't want to sell the super advanced stuff unless you're going to sell it at a really, really high price because there's fewer people that are going to make it to that level. And so that's why you're going to find a lot more of the basic and the beginner stuff because that's more profitable and it makes sense. If you want the really in-depth stuff, you're going to have to find coaches, someone to coach you a lot of times. So that's where I would go with that. And for anyone, you know, it's not just for this particular thing, but if you get stuck, and you're looking for the super advanced stuff, if you've got the basics down, the next thing to do is to find someone who's doing what you already wanna do, copy them if you can. If you can't, because you because it's not in the public or it's not open enough, you're not seeing exactly what they're doing, pay them for coaching, right? You know, I, I've paid a couple grand a month for, for coaching, other people have too. You know, it's, it's a worthwhile investment because if it gets you past the point where you're stuck, then you can make a lot more money. And then uh, as far as like, you know, going beyond the the basics, right, for something like digital art, you know, I, I talked about like with the pixel art, like what would I do if I wanted to, uh, you know, become more professional at, at creating uh, pixel art? Again, this is, is, again, this is, we're going to look at this from the art perspective, but, but you could apply this from a lot of, in a lot of different things. If you got, want to go beyond the basics and become advanced, then, like I said, we, we talked about the coaching kind of for the knowledge aspect of it, but the biggest thing is just going to be doing, right? So if you just took my pixel art example, if I would have continued on with that and I just would have continued pumping out projects and just kept on doing it, you know, I did this video on trusting the process and in and, and it, I, I told my daughter, I was like, you know, write, make a hundred butterflies or a thousand butterflies, whatever it is. And, and you're gonna, I guarantee you, you're gonna have one that looks good. And it's the same thing with, with that, with, with pixel art is in that case, I would just keep on going. And, and that's gonna apply to more than just art, obviously, right? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, if you trust the process, if you know that if you keep on producing, you're going to get better, you have to be willing to slog it out. You know, everything in life that is, is worth something is gonna be a grind at some point. You're gonna have to grind it out. So are you willing to grind it out? Are you willing to forego the results, not depend on results, not try and control results? Because you can't control results, but know that they're gonna come. Have the faith that they're gonna come if you follow the process, if you trust the process. It's a hard thing to do, it's not easy, but that's that's how, how, how you go. You, you've gotta find the next step, really. You know, to, to sum it all up, everything that I'm talking about here, into one thing it's basically this like when you've got that basic level of knowledge and you want to get up to the next level especially when you want to go somewhere where other people aren't or, or where there's very few people you got to figure out what is the next step what is the next step that you need to do it's probably to specialize deeper it's probably to find a mentor or someone that you can copy and it's probably to put in a lot of grind and hard work right and to, to be able to keep on repeating divorce yourself from the results and just trust the process. If you're doing all those things, if you're specializing deep enough, if you're finding a mentor or someone to copy, and if you're, if you're putting in the work, if you're grinding it out, you're eventually gonna get there. It's just gonna take time. Just know what that next step is and then move forward. A lot of times we get caught up and we, we're looking so far ahead in the future, we're trying to figure out you know, how we're gonna get there and we don't see the path and it's and, and it's good to have a vision of where you want to get. You got to have that goal in mind. You know that five year plan or whatever it is that you're never going to reach that 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 pot at the at the end of the rainbow of gold that that you keep on adjusting your sales towards. But you got to zoom back down and you got to figure out what is the next step that I'm going to take practically right now, right? And and realize that 
it's that cumulative effort. If you keep on taking the next step every day, if you keep on reevaluating your situation, if you keep on figuring out what is the next step I can take right now, that cumulatively, that is gonna result in you reaching your goals. That's, that's gonna have a huge, huge impact. It's just that a lot of people get overwhelmed and they don't think about the, just the next step that they need to take. And they don't realize you know, what, what options are, are out there. It, it, it's, there's not gonna be a path. Once you get to a certain point, there's no longer a path. There's no longer a map, a trail. You know, as a beginner, there's a lot of maps. There's a lot of trail maps. Someone will give you the, the trail map and tell you this is the way to go. But as you get up into the expert stage, you're the one who's blazing the trail. You're going to new places and that's where you're pushing the envelope. And that's where that's why you get paid more. That's why you, there's that benefit is because you're taking that risk and it's scary, but you gotta be willing to do that. So. Uh, good question, Jasic. Uh, hopefully this helps you. If you uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time.